Bro, I'm blown away. Good morning and welcome to the Rome train station. We are here because today we're going to Arche on a very exciting tour that I can't wait to tell you all about. But for now, we're just excited that you're joining us. So I will see you once we get over there. While we're at the train station, I think it's probably a good time to let you know that if you ever come here, make sure you give yourself about 30 minutes before your train and your platform won't be assigned until 15 minutes before your train leaves. So just make sure that you're watching the signs and everything like that. Cause the first time we came here, we did not know that. So I think it's a very helpful tip. We made it off the train and now we're getting picked up by a car to go into town. There's a train. <laughs> we're going straight into lunch and then we're going into a wine tasting. So this outfit, not what I meant to be wearing for this. I, for some reason, thought we were stopping at the hotel first, but honestly, it doesn't matter what you're wearing. We're still gonna enjoy our time. This is a really good gelato place. Okay. Okay. Love it. We like that. So this is the main piazza, basically. Okay. Okay. This hotel is absolutely incredible. We're honestly speechless and the view here is incredible. We came in and they're like, you want coffee, you want food? We got it all for you. They said they were just booked up fully last week, but while we're here, we are the only people here. So this whole place, it's for us. Oh my God, it's way too nice for us. I don't know how we continue to finesse like we do, but we keep finessing. Let me be completely honest with you. This is a collaboration, not on this platform. This is completely non-sponsored, but we're working with Farrah Tours. They set this all up for us and we purposely were like, we don't want to know about it. Surprise us. And here we are, absolutely speechless. We're being treated like celebrities. Like you said, I don't know how we continue to finesse like this. We literally have the whole bed and breakfast to ourselves tonight. Like no one, no one else is going to be there. And when you guys see it, Oh. You're gonna be like, what? Expect a full tour. So from here, we're going over to a winery and apparently it's gonna be a really big lunch. And then we're going to have a lot of wine. And I'll be super honest with you, we are not big wine fans. And if anything's gonna make us a fan of wine, it is today. So we'll have terrible reviews on the wine, but we will definitely share with you our thoughts. What? <laughs> First of all, Here's the winery. We got here and she was like, yeah, most people, you know, they eat outside. Sometimes they can eat out in the vineyard. But for you today, let's have you eat outside. They set a table out just for us. And I, I should feel like luxury, but I'm like, I'm not worthy. Any thoughts or just vibes? Just vibes. They just came out with wine for us, which we actually like. Very rare for us. This is all natural, no pesticides, no fillers or additives. Fillers? Completely natural wine straight from the grapes here. We were just talking and I was telling James like, did you think this is where we'd, we would be when I quit my job and we were stressing about money? We'd end up right here. These are the things that can happen when you put yourself out there and you follow your dreams. If you feel like there's something in life you need to be doing, go do it. Because like I said, I quit my job. We were stressing about money, but I knew this was a dream that I needed to pursue. And this is not the end goal, but this is definitely a great step on the way there. When you follow your dreams, when you put yourself out there, you will receive wonderful things. And yes, you're putting yourself out there for harder things as well but it's so worth pushing through because here we are through the, the bed bugs and through the mold. We made it. In the first case, in the conventional wine, are allowed more than 100 additives to transform the grape. In the organic method, additives allowed are more or less 50, okay. still, Still a lot. lot. Yeah. Biodynamic, we only have sulfites and something called bentonite. Okay, two things. Because all wine are, have sulfites. Natural wine, just sulfites, of course, in less quantity compared to the other. Mm. Nothing chemicals or artificial, just natural compost. That's okay. wild. That's why when you drink it, you don't have a headache. I was just going to ask about that. Because it's a clean one, right. they say. 
right? Okay. It's probably a lot more expensive to do it this it's way too. It's expensive also yeah. because in biodynamic, uh, when they do the harvest, all the picking is done by hand. So this wine is completely natural, bottled by hand, and you can get it in the US or anywhere in the world. I will share how you get it or maybe a link down below if I can figure it out. It's really good. This is what I wish wine would taste like. I'm almost one and a half glasses deep and I'm already buzzed, so I'm a little nervous about the rest of the wine we're having here. If they give me one more glass of wine, which I know they will, I'm crossing a boundary. <laughs> the food's about to come out. It's all local food. Here we have the ricotta. And the cheese is made by a local farm in Arce, not too far from us, okay? The frittata, how do you say? The omelette is made mm -hmm. with our eggs because we have the chickens, okay? And same, all the salami, prosciutto, it's from local farms. Mozzarella, buffalo, bruschette, and vegetables, okay? Mm -hmm. This is absolutely wasted on us. Everything is incredible. This is just an appetizer. I can't believe we have more coming, but everything is so good. Like I said, I'm being completely transparent with you. This is a collaboration on our Instagram with Farrah Tours. I will try to find the price for this stuff and let you know here because whatever the price is, I think it's worth it. Thank goodness for this portion. We have lunch now and it's... I'm very excited. Our fourth glass of wine. Why are they all good? Like, I understand why they're all good. They're natural. You know, they take a long time to make. Lots of work. But I usually don't like wine, and they're all good. That's how you know the food is good, if James is dancing. This boy doesn't usually like eggplant, but this eggplant ravioli, I thought the ravioli was the end and they brought more food out. And of course, with every new food option, we get a new wine as well. So I'm trying to finish this one so I can go ahead and try this one. <laughs> of course, you have to finish any meal in Italy with some espresso. If you have not had espresso or you're not a coffee drinker, it's extremely bitter. So just be prepared for that. If you want something a little bit sweeter, make sure you order before noon and get a cappuccino. That's a lot sweeter, a lot more palatable, if that's the right word for somebody that doesn't love coffee. But we're getting used to this. Just when we thought we were done, we got more wine and ciambelline. No idea what this is, but very excited to try it. Interesting. I'm not a black licorice fan, but it kind of tastes a little black licorice-y in a good way. If that makes sense. James just went to the restroom and I'm just staying out here enjoying this view and the peace out here. I'm the only one here and I don't think I'll ever get tired of this. They're playing the same song over and over again and I'm not getting tired of it. We made it back to our hotel to put all of our leftovers in the fridge. And as I'm looking through the fridge here to put all the leftovers away, there is a bottle of wine from the winery to continue getting wine drunk. I cannot believe this experience. They gave us forks and knives too. Oh my gosh. After I get this stuff in the fridge, I'm gonna have to give you a room tour because this is freaking ridiculous. And I think maybe because we're the only people in here, they gave us a super nice room. So I am gonna show you now. First of all, a ridiculous view out there. You've got an extra little bed, which we will not be needing. Wait, is this another thing of wine? Oh my gosh. James is really working on the door right here. We're locked in. And then we've got our bed, our little closet area right here. We've got the bathroom. Whoa, this is my first time seeing it. And I am impressed. Oh my gosh, bro, I'm blown away. The biggest bee I've ever seen in my whole entire life is out here. I need to show you. Okay, do you see that? Do you see that guy over there? That is not a honeybee, that's a hornet or something. James got on his therapy call and we started posting on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and YouTube and all that stuff. 
and I accidentally fell asleep for just, just a second. James feels perfectly fine. <laughs> Maybe more than fine. Now we're going on a tour of this hotel. We're excited to do a little bit of a, a walk around. Oh God. The kitchen. Look at that fridge. This is where you have your bowekum. It's so empty and dark in here. It feels like we're the only ones home. Hello? Where is everybody? It's a little scary. The best part about all that is we got leftovers. Big leftovers fan when traveling because we live off of peanut butter to save a little bit of money sometimes. No need for peanut butter here. We've got leftovers. And they slap just as hard as I did a couple hours ago. Mm. If you ever come to Italy, no matter where you are, try the buffalo mozzarella. It is ridiculously good. I do love a lot of cheeses, but James is not a huge cheese lover and he loves the buffalo mozzarella and looks forward to it every time we come here. Right? Mozz. <laughs> this is our new room. We've got the bed. We've got the little closet area, same as before. But the cool thing about this room is that down here, we have a jet and tub room. Honestly, kind of an upgrade. Not bad. All right, my hair is all braided up and ready for bed. Do not look at the back of my head, but I love it here. It just feels like you're at home. Like. That's the only way I know how to explain it. It's like, this is your home. So if you're ever in Italy and you wanna go a little off the beaten path, come to RJ. It's so much cheaper. It's super, super nice. And you get way more for your money. You get that Italian countryside, slow life that a lot of people think of when they think of Rome, not realizing it's a big city. So come here. Since we last talked, I was on a three hour phone call with my grandparents just talking about everything. And I figured now might be a good time to show you a little bit around before people get here. There's downstairs where you enter, go up these stairs. There's James, terrifying. They have more cake. I'm really using willpower not to eat that cake. Oh, you can't see anything in here. <laughs> and with that, we will be going to bed and I will see you in the morning.